Hi, my name is Ankur Gupta. I'm the general manager and vice president of the Tessin product division within Siemens DISW. I'm extremely excited by our continuously evolving first-class product portfolio. This evolution enables our customers to bring smart products of the future to market faster. The semiconductor industry currently faces three major challenges, process scaling, design scaling, and system scaling. The Tessent organization leads the industry by providing world-class design for test, silicon bring-up, e-learning solutions, and in-life monitoring for silicon lifecycle management. Tessent is addressing the modern-day challenges of SOC test on three different axes. First, process scaling. Our defect-oriented test solutions bring new and advanced fault models to address the growing quality requirements for the very latest process nodes. Coupled with our diagnostics and yield management tools, we enable extremely high yield RAM by finding significant systematic yield issues. Then design scaling with the introduction and rapid adoption of our packet-based test solution streaming scan network, SSN for short. This is a once in a decade technology shift. Customers are able to address the complexity of reticle size designs with multiple repeated cores and optimize packetized test content delivery to these cores through an SOC-wide uniform test bus. SSN is also the foundation of our latest product addressing the DFT challenges for multi-die devices in 2.5D and 3D packages. Finally, system scaling. By extending our existing in-system test capabilities by adding on-chip functional monitoring through embedded analytics technology, Tessin provides extensive in-life support to ensure that test, safety, and security requirements are met for the full life cycle of the device. At Siemens EDA, we are dedicated to delivering industries leading test innovations to you to help you engineer a smarter future faster. Hi, welcome, welcome to the International Test Conference. First time in three years, it's amazing to see everyone. Um, we actually are hybrid, so there's a virtual audience as well, so welcome to the virtual audience. Okay, I'm uh, Teresa McLaurin, the general chair this year, and it's been a, it's been an interesting journey in uh, uh, creating ITC this year, hybrid for the first time. But I think we've got a really great program. First, I want to uh, really thank our corporate sponsors. We couldn't do this without you, and uh, it's it's really nice to have you. I also want to thank our IT sponsors, IEEE. Uh, IEEE Philadelphia section, and of course, Computer Society. But I, I can't get away from not, without uh, thanking the steering committee. The steering committee works all year long to put this committee, this whole conference together. And uh, they're really good at their jobs, which makes it my job a lot easier. So thank you, steering committee. So the test week, we had two, 12 tutorials, which happened on Sunday and Monday. I hope you were able to make some of them. We are going to have three keynotes and one visionary talk. 32 technical sessions uh, comprised of papers, industrial practices, and special sessions. We have four panels, one of which was last night. 35 posters, which will be on the uh, exhibit floor on Wednesday. And I wanna let you know that not all of the exhibit authors were able to make it. So you will see a QR code where their poster is, and you can use that to actually chat with the author during the poster session. 
There's 19 exhibitors, so go visit them. There's a corporate forum for our corporate supporters, and that also takes place on the exhibit floor. And they'll have lots of interesting presentations going on there. And there's two workshops, the Automotive Reliability Test and Safety Workshop, as well as the Silicon Lifecycle Management Workshop. And those start after ITC ends on Thursday. So they start Thursday afternoon and they go Friday. So you can still sign up for those workshops if you want to. Now, uh, Underline, who is doing our virtual part of the program, also has a, an online where you can watch the videos uh, virtually, but also you can access the program. And their, their site works really well on the phone too, so you can get access to the entire program, look at the sessions, put them on your calendar. Um, you can search for a paper author, find out where they are, and you can view the posters. All the posters have a five-minute video that you can watch. And um, you can do all that on your phone or on, on your computer if you want. And this is the, there's also instructions for this on the website, the ITC website. Now, if you see, there's uh, three horizontal lines up in the upper left corner. And if you click on that, you will get this menu. And uh, the reception, there's also an announcements in the, in the receptions. And that's where you can see any announcements that are going on within ITC. Also, there is the link to the proceedings there. And just to note that underneath the proceedings is the username and password you need to use. It's real small, so I just want to make sure you didn't miss it. Uh, you can also get to the sessions here. You, you can, uh, the, the schedule is a calendar. There is uh, the expos where all of the, uh, all of the uh, corporate supporters and exhibitors are listed as well as links that they have. There is that the posters are all there, and there's also a help desk. So if you have any issues with the site, you can use a help desk. And that little purple character at the very bottom, that is to customize your experience. So you can make the letters larger, make them different colors, whatever you want to do. Okay, as I mentioned, this is a hybrid conference uh, with the 32 sessions. Now, most of our presenters will be here live. But because we are an international conference, we wanted to make sure that we made this conference available to everyone all over the world. And we you know, didn't know what the circumstances were going to be. And it turns out that it was difficult for other countries to come to ITC. So there will be some virtual presentations, and, uh, but mainly physical presentations. Uh, same with the posters. You'll have some physical and, and a few virtual. The corporate forums, there's, they're going to be on the exhibit floor. We have some live presentations, which is the plenary and the keynotes, the visionary talks and special sessions. They'll all be recorded and everyone will have access. Uh, everyone with a full conference reg registration will have access to these recordings for a month after the conference is over. The one thing that will not be recorded are the panels. So if you want to see those, those you have to go to those live. This is just a quick schedule check. We're in the plenary, and after uh, the plenary, there will be a, our first keynote. Uh, then we'll have a coffee break, and the Diamond supporter will have their presentation, uh, who is Siemens this year. Uh, after that is lunch on the exhibit floor, and there also will be a corporate forum going on at the same time. And then our sessions start. And then tonight is the ITC welcome reception. And then tomorrow we have a keynote, and right after the keynote, a visionary, session, uh, visionary talk. And um, actually Wednesday, there's a corporate forum during the, uh, during the coffee break, but not today. And you can see there's another corporate forum uh, after lunch or around lunch. And I want to mention that session two, session five, and session seven each have a panel which is one of their sessions. So if you want to make those live, that, that's where those are. Okay, the floor plan. We are here. And right next to us is a session room. So one of the session rooms is on this floor. And over here is the exhibit hall to the other side of us. And then on the upper floor, we have four more session rooms. And in addition, there is a B ticket room. So if you are a presenter at ITC, make sure that you go to the B ticket room and upload your presentation, your PowerPoint. Otherwise, you're only going to have a PDF available. So do that as soon as possible. There'll be someone there to help you. Okay, the exhibit floor. 
So over here we have a networking area and it's, it's actually nice, it's full of tables, which, uh, which is very nice. Uh, and over here is where the corporate forum will happen. And then here is where all the posters will be and also the lunch will be available. And of course, in the very front are all of our wonderful exhibitors, so make sure you go visit them. So speaking of exhibitors, these are all of the exhibitors on the floor. I'm sure they can answer many questions you have. Also, we have a passport program this year. So you have to have a valid ITC full registration. You're gonna, you should have three passports in your bag, one for each day. And the, in order to be eligible, eligible to, for a prize, you have to get the destination stamp, which is the first side, the front side of the passport, and that's Siemens this year. And you have to fill out the back side with six other stamps from other exhibitors down on the floor. The drawings at the end of each day, there's going to be two winners. The first prize or first drawing will be a, an iPad. The second prize will be a $100 gift certificate. So join in. And um, so it, you don't have to be on the floor to get the prize, to hear the prize. It'll also be announced on the ITC website. However, you must pick up your prize while you're here. We are not shipping them. Okay. All right. And for more information, you can go to the ITC website. All right. We do not have yellow cards this year. We've gone forward in life. Uh, but what we do have is a rating system. So in the underlying uh, site, you will see that there's a paper, but there's also an area where you can click on for the abstract. And in that area, you can uh, give that paper a rating after you see it. So one to five stars. So please, please fill this out, if you, especially if you like a paper. Uh, we do use this information to help us figure out the best paper for the next year, for this year. All right, biggest thing of all to me, get social. It's been a long time. We haven't seen every, each other for a long time and or go to meet new people. Uh, last night we had the post panel session uh, social, so I hope that you were able to make that. Tonight we have the ITC welcome reception and I'm just gonna show you a quick map. So we're up on the upper left in the convention center and the, uh, the ITC reception is on, we're on the, uh, on, on the lower, on the lower right in the adventure lawn. So come and join us tonight at the reception. Also, there's coffee breaks. Make sure that you, you know, like I said, this is a great time to, to, to get social. Um, also in the exhibit hall, just walking around the exhibit hall, you'll see people you haven't seen in a long time, meet new people. And there is a lunch also available in the exhibit hall, another time to get social. And of course, we also have links to social media pages. So uh, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Post, post what's going on here. Okay, and ITC is more than just a conference. It's, it's, it is international and we do have a, a community. So we also have ITC Asia and we have ITC India. And if you weren't able to make those, it just so happens we have sessions, a couple of sessions in ITC with the best papers from those conferences. So you can make it. Uh, the, just to let you know, the uh, IEEE International, uh, the ITC India conference, it takes place in July of next year. And the call for papers has been announced and they're due in February. And it takes place in Bangalore. And then the ITC Asia, which takes place in Taipei, Taiwan, it is, has a paper submission deadline in April and it takes place in September of next year. All right, so now I'd like to introduce our technical program chair this year, Kon Jung Lee. KJ? Okay. Yeah, uh, good morning everyone here. And uh, I should say that uh, good afternoon for people in Europe. Yeah, because this is a hybrid one and we have uh, people join us from Europe now. And also, I should say good evening for people in Asia. Actually in Taiwan, in Japan, it's midnight at this moment. Yeah, 
So anyway, and I'm Kun Jong Lee, uh, program chair for this year ITC. Okay, so first of all, I would like to thank all the program committee uh, members. Um, they have helped me to organize the program this year uh, from uh, solicitor papers and review papers and select papers, and also many of them uh, serve as uh, section chairs, and many of them help me to organize the programs. So I would like to thank you all, and I really appreciate that. Okay. So for the technical program, uh, uh, Teresa has given overview for this year's program. So, like uh, we have a uh, tutorial Sunday, Monday, and a workshop uh, Thursday, Friday, and also we have three uh, keynote one today, one tomorrow, and one on Thursday. And also we have uh, some uh, panels. So let, let me just go through this. Uh, we have 22 technical sections. Those are paper sections. And this year we accept 45 regular paper. So that is a uh, uh, lower than 30% uh, accepting rate. And we also have some short paper and uh, it's, uh, some uh, industry practice paper. And in, the, in addition to that, we have 10 special sessions. And these se special sessions are mainly uh, invited uh, talk. Yeah. Um, so they, this uh, special session, they are all for very hot area now. So like the second uh, life cycle management, and uh, we also have a special session on computing and memory design qualifications. That's a part of the C, uh, Silicon Life Cycle Management, uh, SLM. Okay, we also have a special section on chip data integrations. And uh, there's uh, one thing quite special for this year. Uh, that's the hardware security certifications. We have been talking about uh, hardware security for several years, and now I think it's time for us to talk about uh, the industry standard for hardware security certifications. Okay, and we also have a special session on high power electronics. The high power electronics here uh, are related to some compound semiconductor, uh, which uh, in ITC we sell, seldom talk about that. But those are very important because they are widely used in something like a car electronics. Okay. So we have also have special uh, section on that. And also we have special section on quantum circuit testing, emphasis on testing. Yeah, so that's, a, I think, quantum electronics is the future of the electronic uh, industry, right? Okay. And uh, also we have special session on uh, uh, to in memory of uh, three test giants. And we also have special session on ITC India, okay? And uh, uh, special session on TTC uh, PhD competitions, okay? And in addition to that, uh, actually this year we also have some special tracks. Uh, and uh, these special tracks uh, actually, uh, uh, for each uh, special session is 90 minutes, the one, uh, one and a half hours. And for special tracks, each special track consists of three to four uh, sections. So some of special sections here actually uh, embedded in the spatial tracks. Okay, so we have spatial tracks on silicon life cycle management, uh, memory security, uh, machine learning and AI uh, accelerator and automotives. Okay. And also we have four panels uh, uh, talking about the uh, chip date integration, sign and error, uh, RAS, that's uh, 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 IS in critical mission systems, and automotive safety and uh, uh, security. 
And also, we have uh, certified posters that will be uh, in tomorrow uh, lunchtime. Okay. Okay. So that's the program we have this year. And uh, here, uh, there's some announcement. Uh, so the proceedings thing is accessible in the underlying announcement area. So you can uh, through this link you can access to all the uh, all material in proceedings. And uh, the ITC presentation material will be released online after the session has been completed. So we actually uh, we record all the paper sections. And uh, we will uh, put that on online after uh, the, the present presentation is done. Okay. And uh, uh, Teresa just mentioned the last thing here, because uh, when we ask people to upload their uh, the paper materials, we ask you to upload the PDF file. But uh, in order to play uh, your uh, presentation, uh, we need the PowerPoint file. So please uh, uh, be sure to go to the B ticket room and to upload your PowerPoint file. Okay. So that's what, what I want to say. Yeah. So back to you, okay. Teresa. Thanks, KJ. So next, uh, we're going to do the Best Paper Award. Now, what was um, fascinating to me about the Best Paper Award is that uh, we are truly an international conference. And so these, the ones we, there were a lot of papers that were really good last year. And uh, we did due diligence. We uh, looked at the reviews of the papers. We looked at the yellow cards. We also had a people from the program committee that were inside the sessions that gave back feedback. And it was really hard to decide what, uh, which one was the best paper, but we did make a decision, but we also felt that there were two other papers that deserved an honorable mention. So we, we've uh, also have those. And these papers, they are really are from all around the world, from different countries. And the really interesting thing is all three of these papers, they are a, a uh, co cooperation between academia and industry. And I think that's when we're really strong when we're innovating, when we do that type of thing. So that's the first one. So the first uh, honorable mention is for improving volume diagnosis and debug with test failure clustering and reorganization by Mu Ting Wu, Chen Chang Ku, James Chen Mo Li uh, from National Taiwan University and Chris Nye and Gaurav Bhargava from Qualcomm. So, uh, is anybody from the, yeah. Okay, our next uh, honorable mention. is a fast and low cost embedded test solution for CMOS image sensors by Julia Lefavre, Philippe Debeau, Patrick Girard, and Arnaud Viracel. And they're from uh, France from LIRM and, micro and ST Microelectronics. Unfortunately, because they are from France, none of them could make it <laughs> this year. Uh, so, but anyway, I'd like to congratulate them for doing such a great paper. And now, 
best paper. The best paper for last year goes to Prasanth Viswanathan Pillay, Ruben Parecki from Texas Instruments, Bharad Waj Amrutar from the Indian Institute of Science, and is for exploiting application tolerance for functional safety. So once again, from India, they couldn't make it, but uh, so I just want to thank them for their contribution. To So before I bring your font up, I'd like to bring Lisi Wong up for a minute. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Uh, so I'm not Yavan Zorian, but you already know that, right? There's only one Yavan Zorian <laughs> who everybody knows. Um, so I'm here to uh, introduce this year Lifetime Contribution Medal. And this award is the highest uh, recognition of TTTC. In fact, it is the highest uh, award for, uh, from IEEE uh, in our community. So it recognizes uh, outstanding technical contribution over a lifetime, making fundamental impact on test technology. And it was usually presented in the flagship conference like ITC and will feature an article in Design and Test magazine. So the open nomination usually is in the summer, and this award has been there for 25 years, and you can see a lot of well-known people who build the foundations of test technology and, uh, and this community. So this year, uh, with a strong in endorsement from the IPC, and unanimous support from TTTC. Um, it's my honor to announce this year recipients and Yovan Zorian. <laughs> so Yovan received a master degree from USC, a PhD degree from McGill in Canada, and an M MBA from the Wharton School of Business University of Pennsylvania. And he's a distinguished mem uh, member of technical staff at at and Bell Labs. So, and that was a long time ago, right? It's uh, in the 90s. And I have a little sh story to share with you. Uh, I remember that was the first time I met Yovan, and the person that introduced me to Yovan was Tom Williams. And you know what Tom said to me? And Tom said, Lee, this is the most important person you need to know, and you must know. <laughs> and at that time, you can see 1995, VTS, I remember it was VTS in 1995, and Yovan was already a well-recognized leader in our community. So he's old. <laughs> and then after that, he's a chief technologist of large regions and VP and chief Chief Scientist of Veras Logic, and then before he moved to uh, Synopsys, became the fellow and the chief architect since uh, 2010. And he pioneered many, many works we're familiar with today, uh, including the building self-test in the early stage and repair, and the embedded cores, board IP and SOC testing, uh, testing multi-chip module and uh, SIP 3DIC chiplets, and more recently on automotive safety, reliability, and security. And this list will go on, and uh, because we only have one slide, we cannot fit everything, you know, you have one bit. <laughs> and he received many honors. He holds 45 patents, more over 450 paper publications, and five books. He's a fellow of IEEE in, uh, in, the, in class of 1999. He uh, re received the IEEE Industrial Pioneer Award and the IEEE uh, Kaufman Award. Uh, he was uh, IEEE uh, TTTC past chair and is currently the TTTC president. He's the editor in chief, has been editor in chief in Design and Test Makers of Computers. And he's a founder and chair of IEEE 1500 Standard Working Group. He was a general chair of the 50 ITC, you know, 
uh, that was in 2019, Washington DC, if you remember, that was before the, the you know, we, we switched to virtual. That's the last physical conference of ITC. He was a general chair and happened to be also the 50 ITC. He was also the 50 of design automation conference in 2014, the general chair. He's co-founder of many symposium and workshops, including 3DIC dates, online test symposium, the ETS European Test Symposium, Latin American Test Symposium, and the uh, TCI, you know, IIP, TRP, DM, uh, Design for, uh, for Manufacturing and Yield. And more recently, right, the Art Automotive Workshops and the, this, you know, the last two years, the uh, Silicon Life Cycle. And again, the list is going on and I don't even recognize some of them. You know, it's still too many of them. Anyways, so in conclusion, uh, Yervans, is a true innovator, is a true leader, is a pioneer in text technology, and he has made lasting impact on our text community. That's welcome, Yeo Van Zorian. This was humbling. Uh, thank you so much, Lee, for the introduction. It's an honor. It's an honor to receive this Lifetime Achievement Award, even though I'm still in the middle of my lifetime and there's a lot more to do. Uh, but it has been a privilege to work in this domain, in test technology. I'm sure many of you feel the same. It's a moving field that we have been part of. We have seen how it grew to from test to all the adjacent areas that we all invested in and it will still grow. So, so technically it is very fulfilling to be in this field. But more fulfilling for me is to work with our community, to work with numerous colleagues around the world, to collaborate, to collaborate in my research with not only people who I work with in the companies, but also many academic partners who I published with, worked with in the past, and I continue to do so. And all the conferences that allowed me to work with so many colleagues around the world. So it's a real privilege to work with, with that second family of mine, the test community. So with that, I'd like to thank you for, for, for being uh, collaborators, friends, and I look forward to work more with you. Thank you. Okay, uh, there's a little bit more uh, on the on our TTC related awards for today uh, after the, the one that Lee kindly brought up. Uh, this one is on Bob Madge Innovation Award. You know Bob Madge, one of our colleagues who passed away a few years ago. Since 2015, we established this new award. This new award is for particular innovation. It's not for a person, but for a solution that has been uh, uh, contributed in the test or the yield domain or and yield domain and made it available to the community at large. So it's not particularly for, for a company. Uh, <clears throat> There's a small team of people who participate in the selection process, and we have done this for the, since 2015, as I mentioned. Um, it's based on nominations, so you have the privilege or the chance to, to submit names if you want in the future. This year, the recipient of this award is a colleague that is known to many of you, Mark. Mark Tehranipur has been in our field for, for again, quite a long time. He has done hardware security. He has innovated so much in hardware security domain. In terms of services, he helped establish host, pain, Asian host, the Journal of Ass, all in hardware security domain. He has received many awards, such as the Golden Core Award from IEEE Computer Society, and he's a fellow of IEEE and a fellow of ACM. 
He founded multiple centers, research centers, that is, in different uh, universities. And uh, he has done research in a number of topics, published extensively, has multiple books, has numerous patents, and he has done lots of invited and keynote talks in different locations. Currently, he is in University of Florida. He holds the endowment chair professor position of Intel Charles Young Preeminence, and also he is the chairman of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. With that, I'd like to invite Mark to the podium to receive his special award. In other years, Marianne Madge, the spouse of Bob Madge, would have come and, and handed the award to the recipient. Today, she is not with us physically here, but she is virtually watching us. Marianne, if you're there, you can say a word if you want. Yeah, congratulations, Mark. Uh, Bob would be so pleased you're receiving this award. Uh, thanks to ITC, and congratulations, Mark. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, Hello, everybody. Uh, well, thank you very much, Irwan, and thank you very much, uh, Marianne. This is uh, this is quite an honor um, to uh, to receive this award. Bob, um, actually, I knew Bob uh, very early on as a young young researcher in the field, and he always, for us, was more of a you know an innovator and a visionary, and we look we looked up to him. Um, and I'm quite humbled, actually, to have my name associated uh, associated with him and his legacy. So, uh, thank you very much, Marianne, for keeping his legacy alive and for your continuous support. I wish you were here. Um, but I also want to thank Phil Nye and the committee for uh, nominating and selecting me to receive this award. Um, it would not have been possible uh, without the support of family, as well as many of my friends and colleagues who happen to be in this room. So thank you very much. Uh, because I have this stage, I hope you don't mind, I actually give my two cents on a couple of items. Uh, one is about year one. Um, and I think uh, Lisi mentioned this. Uh, yes, he's the most important individual in the test community, but what he doesn't know is that some of us who actually got into the community was because of him. Uh, 1997, when I started working in test, it was his papers, especially in design and test, that I would read. And believe it or not, I would take his words like holy words, and I would just read them over and over and over again. Um, the second thing is that um, I really owe him this idea of hardware security. Not many of you know that I started very early on to work on hardware security, but uh, the community was sparse. We didn't have a home. And as a young three-year, I would say old professor, I always look up to him and I reached out to him and I said, dear one, this is what I'm going to do. I, I wanted to put together a, a workshop or a symposium on this topic. And his answer was, what can I do to help? And I think that really got me. And actually that was in ITC, ITC of 2007. And I never acknowledging it enough, never thanked him enough for doing that because host community actually owes him because TTDC was the first sponsor behind host. So for that, thank you very much. My second thing, I have to say this, uh, I'm from Iran and many of you are following the news in Iran and it's heartbreaking. Um, I know we're not politicians, we're a bunch of scholars, but we have our own platform. I want to ask every one of you, if you know what's happening in Iran and what's happening to women in Iran because being, they're being forced to put cover and Iranian women are extremely resilient. I bow down to what they do every day and they're in the street. And as of today, more than 50 of them have been killed because all they're asking is that, can I have a choice what to wear? So I'm asking you and begging you to use your platform and stand up for an important cause like this. So Iranian women need you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're moving ahead. Um, well, now that the award is handed, uh, the next step is to, to mention that we have an annual 
service award for students hmm, that you have all seen in the past. Every year, one student who serves the test community through, through nice volunteer activities receives this award. And this award is a package from ITC and TTC together, uh, supporting sponsorship, attendance, travel, and so on. And this year's recipient is Juicy. Juicy Yara is with us today from uh, Polytechnic Auditorium. You, know, you may stand up if you want. I'd like to acknowledge her and wish you that. And congratulate her for receiving this award for this year. Thank you, Juicy. Please continue the good work that you already did for the tutorials program as well as for the European Test Symposium so far. We look forward to see you more often. Um, moving ahead, um, we heard the name of Tom. We, we can hear about two more giants who have left us this year. Uh, throughout this one year, we lost three very important individuals to our community, Wojtek Mali, Tom Williams, and Hiraj Prathan. Uh, they have been on this stage many times. They have uh, presented so many papers, books, received awards, and so on. And we have strong memories about them, I'm sure many of you. Now, while we remember them because they, they're not with us anymore, we remember also their work, their papers, their technical contributions, as well as, as, well as their friendship. Okay? So anyone like them, a giant who leaves us, we don't forget them. We remember them because of their long lasting contributions. I would like, with this, I'd like to, to set my respects again for all the work and please uh, keep looking for, for the good results of them and many other giants that we have. Uh, by the way, this afternoon, we do have a particular session dedicated to the three of them. Um, I'm sure many of you would be interested and you'll have the chance to talk, but their, their mentees or their, their past students or colleagues will be talking about them. It's a two o'clock session this afternoon if you're interested about Tom Williams, Wojtek Mali, and Diraj Prata. Um, one last award worth mentioning here is the Doctoral Dissertation Award. This is the best doctoral dissertation which goes to multiple steps, as you know. It's called after Professor McCluskey, named after Professor McCluskey. It goes in two steps. We have the semifinals and the finals. Semifinals this year happened at ETS, VTS, and ATS. And now we have the finals. Again, later this afternoon, we have the, the final session where the judges and the, and the PhD students will be there to do the final selection. Um, this year is the 45th anniversary of TTDC. I just wanted to bring up the fact that we are growing as a community. We have all, over 16,000 test professionals around the world, and they are very active in many places in the world. You know, our community expanded a lot when we started, we were based in the US mostly. And now we have lots of uh, geographies that we cover, lots of generations that we cover, and many adjacent topics that we cover. So if you're not part of TTC, if you're not a member, you don't receive the emails, the updates, the newsletters, please do so in order to be part of the family. Thank you so much. With that, I'll pass it back to Teresa. There's one other award, sorry. Uh, for the last three years, we haven't given these awards. So these awards actually cover the last three years and it's for uh, years of service for the program committee. And so if you're on this list and you're here, uh, you can pick up your award uh, Wednesday at the reception desk. And also for the uh, steering committee awards as well across the years. So thank you all because of course we couldn't have ITC without you. Okay, so now I want to announce that the next year, Lisi Wong is going to be general chair and ITC will be in October from the 8th to the 13th. And it will be here again, uh, the happiest place on earth. And so, uh, so I hope you can make it again next year. Uh, Jeff Furick will be our program chair and the uh, abstract deadline is uh, April 14th and the paper PDF deadline is April 21st. So please consider uh, 
contributing to Next ITC.